Good evening. We've had a beautiful day across Sydney today, but as soon as that sun goes down, the temperatures quickly fall. So we're sitting on around 17 degrees today, but we did warm up to 23. As you can see on the satellite image, there's a little bit of cloud across New South Wales, but not really across Sydney. We've only got one or two clouds in the sky, but there is an area of cloud that's stretching across central parts of Australia, but it's not really causing much in the way of rainfall. Now, quite a strong cold front is approaching our west coast. That will make its way through Western Australia from tomorrow night and into Thursday. So we're actually going to be seeing some widespread heavy rain here. But for the southeast and for the eastern seaboard, it's a different picture. And it's thanks to this ridge of high pressure keeping the skies very clear. As you can see, though, we've got these southerly winds, so it is pushing some light showers onto exposed coastal areas. And that will intensify slightly tomorrow afternoon. But after another sunny day, not a great deal of rainfall on offer tomorrow unless you're in the far western seaboard and across the Pilbara district. But a few light showers will move up the coast tomorrow and then eventually getting into southern parts of Queensland. So for Brisbane, we could see a shower arriving a little later in the day, but it will kick off in the Bayside suburbs first. And we'll warm to a top of 23 degrees. It will remain sunny for Canberra, a top of 15 here. A possible morning shower in Melbourne. A partly cloudy day for Adelaide and for Hobart. While for Perth, it will be a cloudy one with showers. And by the evening, we could see some heavy rain and possibly some gusty winds with thunderstorms as well. Across New South Wales tomorrow, though, we'll wake up to a bit of morning frost across the southern slopes and ranges and for Canberra overnight we'll dip down to just one degree. We'll warm up to 15 degrees throughout the day. We'll get to 17 degrees in Wagga Wagga. It is generally dry conditions, partly cloudy for some areas, but we are going to see some showers developing for the central and northern coast in the afternoon and into the evening as well. And for the far northern areas it's possible that some of those showers get into eastern parts of the ranges, but there's not a great deal of rainfall on offer tomorrow at all. So across the Sydney Basin, it's just the most exposed coastal regions where we could see a shower making its way through in the afternoon and the evening, but elsewhere we'll see drier conditions. In Bankstown, we'll get to 19 degrees. It will be a chilly 13 degrees in Katoomba, but it will be remaining sunny. So for Sydney tomorrow, it will be a mostly sunny day. Some isolated showers will come through eastern areas in the afternoon. We're only warming up to a max of 20 degrees tomorrow, so it is expected to be a couple of degrees cooler than today and that's thanks to those southerly winds bringing up some chilly air. And what's to come over the next few days? We are going to see a possible shower or two on Thursday. On Friday, it's just near the coast, we could see a morning shower uh, and then the remainder of the day will be partly cloudy, so 21 degrees, but there's not much rain in this. Overnight Wednesday night's probably when we'll see the heaviest rain this week. For Saturday, we're looking at clear conditions and then on Mother's Day on Sunday, we could be seeing a few showers coming through. In our west tomorrow though, no rain at all, clear skies and 20 degrees, a possible shower on Thursday, partly cloudy for Friday and a sunny one getting to 23 degrees on Saturday. And then on Sunday we could see one or two showers coming through. We're getting to 21 degrees and it could be a bit of a cloudy day. So it's a, mono a forecast we'll be watching closely right throughout the week. Of course, Sunday is Mother's Day and I'll keep you posted this week. Thanks, guys.